story time with Madame Delina. You know what I just did, boys and girls? I spoke to you in a special language. It's called sign language, and it's when we talk with our hands. Sign language was created for deaf people, people who cannot hear words or sounds, but they can see and understand when we use our fingers to do the talking. And you know what, my radical readers? Madame Delina is going to teach you a few things to say in our special language, sign language today. But first, let's meet our friends in our story, Mpumi and Jabu's Magical Day. Are you ready to read with me? Say, let's rock and roll! Awesome! On a sizzling hot day, one summer afternoon, some children gather after school. A little boy, Jabu, peeks around a tree. I wonder if anyone will play with me. Can you spot the little boy, Jabu, that's peeking around the tree? Do you think he looks happy and excited? Or maybe a little nervous and scared. Why do you think so, boys and girls? He's already spotted Mbumi, a girl with a gentle heart and magic braids that glitter and spangle and spark. Mbumi sees him all alone and wants to bring that to an end. She decides it's time to make a new friend. That's why he was so sad. He didn't know anyone in the playground. Mbumi puts her hands to her mouth and calls. Hello, Saubona, hey. She feels a little confused and thinks, maybe he doesn't want to play. Jabu sees her looking straight at him with a frown on her pretty face. He wonders if she could be cross, but a park is a fun-filled place. Mbumi walks a little closer with a smile and a wave. She says, hello, I'm talking to you. Jabu slowly smiles back and waves his hand too. He signs, why do you look so blue? When someone looks blue, they look a little sad, boys and girls. While they sit on the bench laughing together, Jabu's mother walks over and signs. Hi, I'm Jabu's mama, she says, using her mouth and her hands. My son Jabu is deaf and wears hearing aids too, so we sign by making our fingers move. Wow, says Mbumi. I would love to learn. Jabu, please teach me sign language too. Jabu is deaf and has become a master at the special language sign language. Do you see the yellow device in his ear? they called hearing aids and they help Jabu better communicate with people. Now that Mbumi and Jabu are friends, it's time to play together. How wonderful it is to make new friends and play together. Look at them playing so happily together. What's your favorite thing to do on the playground? Swings? Slides? merry-go-rounds, monkey bars, how about hide-and-seek in the sandpit? What a wonderful day, they both think later. Making friends isn't as hard as it seems. After brushing their teeth and reading their books, 
they jump into bed and have happy <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Quick quiz. What are the three things Mpumi and Jagu did before they went to bed? Firstly, they told someone about how their day went. Secondly, they brushed their teeth. And finally, they read a book. Why don't you do those same three things before you go to bed, boys and girls? Tell someone about your day, the good things and the not so good things that happened that day. Brush your teeth and read a book. The very next day, Jabu walks into school. He sees his friends and they wave. He says, you won't believe what happened at the park. Yesterday, I was very brave. I met a new friend. She's hearing, not deaf. And we laughed and played all day. It's break time at Mbumi's school. Her friends hug and giggle and scream. What are you doing with your fingers and hands? What on earth could it mean? My new friend taught me how to talk with my hands. He's wonderful and so clever, Mbumi beams. That's so cool! We also want to meet him! Mbumi smiles and calls them into an empty room. They huddle together and giggle and hold hands. We wish to visit him at his school! The beads in Umi's hair jingle and jangle and sparkle. The beads shimmer and glimmer and shine. The friends look on with big eyes and big smiles as they take off and fly into the sky. They land at the school excited and peer into a room so dark. Umi whispers, While the actors run across the stage, the girls tiptoe quietly and find seats. There's a woman waving her hands as the children sway to the beat. The lights go on as the show ends. Mbumi grins and waves. Jabu tells his friends, that's the hearing friend I made. The play was wonderful. Mpumi signs. Did you hear Snow White scream? Jabu shakes his head and says, No, but the old lady looked very mean. Did you see the lady on the stage? The one waving her hands? She's the sign language interpreter who helps us understand. My name is Jabu. What are your names? The children sign and chat. Tiabu! Asante! They both smile. How do you sign that? Bumi finger spells their name saying, And this is Lerato and Jack. Now we're friends! They all exclaim. Let's go out and play. The bell rings with a flashing light that signals it's time to go home. They join together and head for the gate and giggle and skip down the road. All around there's chaos as the friends patiently wait in a queue. They're shouting and hooting everywhere while nothing seems to move. Smells of bride chicken, slap chips, and bunny chow float up and fill the air. The friend's stomachs grumble and grow, but the taxis just don't care. Oh, I wish we could go to the park and play, Bumi hears her friend say. I've got an idea. She says in signs, I will use my magic beads and get us out of 
Sonia. Remember, Mbubi's got beads in her hair, so pretty. And they're magical, they're magical, boys and girls. The beads jingle and jangle and sparkle. The beads shimmer and glimmer and shine. The friends look on with big eyes and big smiles as they take off and fly into the sky. They laugh and spin and slide and swing. The six new friends have so much fun. Jabu and Mbumi brought them together. A wonderful friendship has begun. Mbumi shared her magic and Jabu taught her sign language too. A hearing girl, a deaf boy, they both learned something new. They suddenly stop chatting and look right at you. Young friend, can you sign? We invite you to. The end. What a wonderful story about making friends and learning new things about the different people we meet. Now, Madame Delina is going to teach you three things to say in sign language this week. First thing, and repeat off to me, my radical readers. Hello. Hello. Second thing, thank you. Thank you. And finally, boys and girls, I love you. I love you. It can get a little bit tricky with the fingers, boys and girls. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it. Shall we do the three things again? Hello? 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I love you. I love you. And my last words to you, boys and girls, is I love you. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for today. I'll see you next time. So hip, hip, hooray.